Welcome back to the Corny's Notes version, Health Matters Simplified, so you can understand. I'm Dr. Matthew Corny's, a chiropractor. Today, we're looking at our posture. In other videos, we talked about just how important the posture is, and it's as important as getting a poodle off your head. So this is neck and shoulders getting started. When we're getting started with our neck and shoulders, just like with the other principles, we're gonna start with motion. Then we're gonna do some stretching or some flexibility. And often when we're getting started, then we'll ice in place of our strength. So we're gonna move it, stretch it, ice it. And so we're gonna start now with the shoulder shrugs. When we do shoulder shrugs, we're taking our shoulders, approximate them to the ears, and then as you let it drop, you breathe out. It's okay, Luna. It shook the table a little bit. This is Luna, our service dog. So we take our shoulders up, and then we let them drop. And then we take it up, and then we let it drop. Next, we're going to do the rolls. When we do rolls, our shoulders are going to go up, back, down, relax. Up, back down, relax. And you don't have to worry about pulling them forward because the tension in the pectoral muscle is naturally going to bring it forward for you. So we're going to go up, back, down, relax. Then we'll do the circles. When we do circles, I want you to imagine that your hands are holding the oars of a rowboat and you're making a forward circle in front of you. And so we loosen up those shoulders with these forward circles. Then we're going to do motion for the neck. When we do motion for the neck, make sure you start in strong posture. So sit tall, look good, squeeze your kegels, open your shoulders, let it relax, let it relax and retract your head. From the strong posture position, we're going to do up, down, or flexion extension. I like to do about three to five up-downs, and then you'll notice after your up-downs that your head will shift forward slightly. So do a fresh retraction, make sure your core is engaged, and then do a little side to side. About three to five times. And then we're going to do our turn. And turn. So we're doing flexion extension, we're doing right and left lateral bending, and we're doing right and left rotation just to loosen it up. And again, when we're doing our motion, stop short of pain. You can bump up against the edge of discomfort, but never push hard into pain. Now we're gonna stretch it. We ready to stretch it? Yes. All right, when we stretch it, we're gonna start with the muscles in the front of the neck. So to stretch the muscles in the front of the neck, Let's do it this way so that Luna can see too. Basil, you're watching, good boy. So we follow the collarbone down to where it attaches to the shoulder, and then we hold that down. From a strong position, we let our head tilt away from the hand. And you feel the stretch here. Just like our other stretches, we're gonna hold for 10 to 15 seconds, about three to five times. I'm gonna do both sides here so that I feel balanced. Get into the strong position, hold it down, and then let the head tilt away from the hand. Feeling a nice stretch here on the front of my neck. And then we're going to do the posterior neck stretch, or stretch the back of our neck. To stretch the back of the neck, you're going to hold the seat or the chair that you're sitting on. Put your hand on top of your head so that you can still see your elbow in front. Then you're going to tilt forward as the first part of the motion and then try and look under the shoulder or under the armpit of the hand that's on your head. So often I call this one the look under the armpit stretch. Let me show you the other side. It's okay. So always starting from strong position, you should be able to see the hand in, or sorry, see the elbow in front of the head and then forward and twist. And we look under the armpit stretch. It's actually called the levator scapula stretch. And we hold 10 to 15 seconds. Coming back out of that, if you're flared up, that's enough. Get your ice pack out. 
take a hand towel, roll it up so that the hand towel is about this big around, lay the towel down on the ground, lay the ice pack over the rolled towel, put a cloth on top of the ice pack because when you're icing traditionally, you don't want to have that ice directly up against your skin or you might get frostbite. So lay on your back on the ice so that the rolled towel is pushing a forward curve into your neck and stay on the ice for about 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes is long enough. And remember why we're doing this. We're doing this because, what was it? 60 degrees of forward head flexion is the equivalent of having a head that weighs 60 pounds. So that's like having a standard poodle on your head. Basil, come here. Come here, baby. It's okay. Remember, Basil, Basil's our standard poodle that weighs about 55 pounds, actually. Luna's a little over 60. And so we need to do these so we can get the poodle off of your head. Thank you for watching Courtney's Notes version. And remember, get adjusted because it feels good.